Okay, so today I'm gonna do um, a more relaxing video. I have been um, planning to do some holiday bundles this year and actually what I'm gonna be showing you is how to make bundles from rosemary and lavender um, little smudge bundles so you'll be letting these wild herbs dry out you see my fingertips are like a little bit blue and a little bit stained I've actually been working in my indigo garden today and um, earlier today I dried some blue um, dyed some bluish cotton cord so you can see my other um, DIY videos but this is the first one that I'm just gonna kind of keep more soothing and quiet so hopefully you can hear me okay I have um, clipped a bunch of fresh rosemary and um, I have a huge bush of it actually growing in the corner of my garden and uh, I have some lavender here I have raffia which I'll be using later to bind it with along with the blue cord that I showed you so in order to make a nice bundle you're gonna place um, a cluster of your herbs actually and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place them all in one direction remove any little fibers that want to get in the way I have some fresh lavender too along with some dried so I'm gonna set that to the side save it for later in the video but um, what a nice size bundle. Let's see, how many do I want to, I'm going to use like four, um, maybe more, maybe like six. I'm getting some long pieces, seven. So just quite a few. And what I want you to do is just kind of relax while you watch this. Um, I teach a really popular class, Watercolor for Relaxation, and as an artist, I would say one of my main uh, focuses is actually helping people to access and tap into their creativity, but also helping people to relax and to feel more peaceful. Um, I practiced yoga for many, many years, and that actually led me to becoming a certified 500 hour yoga instructor. So I basically like to tie my creativity and my art together um, through these kinds of relaxation activities. And also I love to make gifts for people. So I think this is like a really fun time of year to make things for the people in your life. I think that's actually going to be a really nice size bundle. Let me put one more um, right here. So I have like probably about eight or nine different um, sprigs of rosemary. And then I know I want to layer in the lavender. And actually, I feel like the dried lavender might work really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the outside of the bundle. This has been on my to-do list something that I really wanted to do for a long time and I'm um, just working the lavender in here and I'll try to fit one more piece so once you have that you're going to secure it it might help you to loop a little rubber band around just to hold the base before you start wrapping with the string. I use rubber bands for like a lot of different things. It might be helpful to kind of just use the bands. Okay, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your extras off. And then I'm gonna work in 
some of those brighter, they smell so nice, fresh leaf pieces in. Um, hopefully as I'm wrapping. So I'm gonna put them on all sides of the bundle. This is like a really nice bundle. So let's start now at the base of the piece. I secure my indigo twine. It's hand dyed, it's cotton. It's actually um, for weaving. It's from a weaving loom. I'm gonna do one more down here at the base. And then, once I secure it, I'm gonna hold it with my hand. I'm just gonna start to really tightly wind it up. And I'm gonna wind all the way, all the way up. Like I said, you can do this with sage, any fresh herbs that you have access to. And I know some people here in LA, they know places where wild sage grows and they go and they collect their bundles out in the wild. So actually, I want to get it a little steeper. So let me try one more time. Wrapping it, there we go. Nice and steep up my bundle. Because then I'm gonna come back down the other side when I'm ready. Ooh, I'm just getting that um, lavender to kind of sit a tiny bit flat for us. Ooh, it looks so pretty already. Um, and I have a fairly long string. I measured uh, that it's about four times the size of the piece that I'm trying to bundle. I'm gonna end up snipping the ends off later. That lavender smells so good right now. This is all grown fresh in our garden here in Los Angeles. Um, we were really lucky when we moved into our house to have a really big rosemary plant. I'm not sure I like that part that's sticking up, but hopefully I can trim it off a little bit. And then once I get down to the, the base of the bundle, I'm gonna um, tie another knot. So I didn't use the raffia for this one, Use it again on the next piece. Um, there we are. Just kind of tying that off there and making a nice secure loop. Okay. Yeah. I have some garden clippers right on hand. What you can do to kind of make it look a little uniform. So you can give it a little hair chop here. Ooh, I like this soft. Okay, and then really softly you can snip it here too. And the rosemary is really thick and actually kind of hard. There we go. Break and snip. So if I have to, then I can go and do little tiny pieces and I can trim it and adjust it. Remember, I wasn't liking all the, the pieces sticking out. I'm gonna leave the lavender, it's pretty. Give it a little haircut. Smells really amazing. I'm gonna be at a market in downtown LA and I'm gonna be selling my indigo tote bags and some of these little bundles. And so I thought they would be nice for gifting and little holiday presents. So now what you can do, I'm just gonna clear off my workspace here. I'm going to make a couple more bundles today. I hope that you enjoyed this more quiet and relaxing tutorial on how to create a bundle using the herbs that you have in your garden. Thanks for watching 
and if you enjoyed it, don't hit, forget to hit subscribe and like this video so that I will know and I'll be making more of these.